Back then, there weren't many Bibles around, but the Holy Spirit was moving on people's hearts and they started to study the Bible. They wanted to know the truth no matter what. Many truths had been hidden for so long and they were finally realizing them. There was a man named John Wycliffe. He was called the Morning Star of the Reformation. Wycliffe loved to learn and study. He did really well at school. He was very smart and talented. Back then, the Bible only existed in the ancient languages. That meant that people who weren't educated wouldn't be able to read or understand it. In college, he began to study the Bible. Even though he was really smart and he knew a lot of things, he always felt that something was missing in his life, that not even all his studies or what the church taught could satisfy that emptiness. But when he read the Bible, he knew that this is what was missing in his life. As Wycliffe was reading the Bible, he learned about God's plan to save and that Jesus is the only one to go through to make that happen. He gave his life to God's service and started telling others about the truths he discovered in the Bible. He was a good teacher and speaker. He was very smart too and lived a pure life. Many people really liked him. Wycliffe saw that the Roman church had turned away from following the Bible and started following traditions and rules they made up themselves. One thing he spoke against were the monks. They were a group of people who lived lazy lives. Even though the monks said it was good to live a poor life, they were actually really rich. The monks tricked many people to believe that the people could pay money to go to heaven. They said they could even forgive people's sins if the people paid them money. Wycliffe wrote articles wanting everyone to know that what the monks were doing was wrong. They were just regular people they didn't have the right to forgive people's sins. He also preached the gospel to the poor. He gathered a group of preachers who also wanted to share the truth. They went all over to teach many people, old, the sick, the poor. He wanted to translate the Bible into English, but he ended up getting sick. His enemies were so happy to hear that and they ran to his bed telling him to take back everything he said against the church. But he said, I'm not going to die, I'm going to live and keep telling others about the evil things the friars are doing. He ended up living and he eventually translated the Bible into the English language. Now, people could understand the Bible because it was written in their own language. Lots of people wanted the Bible. Sometimes people didn't have enough money, so they could only afford a portion of the Bible. Other times, several families got together to buy one copy. Sometimes rich people wanted the whole Bible. The papal leaders were so angry that they brought Wycliffe to trial three times, but he stood firm for what he believed. He told them that if he was wrong about any of these things, that he would take it back. He wanted those who were listening to be pointed to Jesus, not the Pope or anyone else. He said if he said anything wrong that he would correct himself, even if he had to die. But he would rather obey God than man.